Hey there! In this video, I'm going to share with you the top 3 best weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 during early game plus some suggested builds around them. I really wish I've known about this and gotten them way sooner. Also, I'm going to feature a bonus legendary weapon here in Cyberpunk 2077 at the end of this video that may be useful early on to late game depending on your build and playstyle, we'll see, so stay tuned. In the year 2077, cybernetic implants are the norm. You can choose to have a tail, three mouths, or multiple limbs. What the frick? And speaking of multiple limbs, we can have insect limbs by having the mantis blades which, in my humble opinion, are quite overpowered. If you're impatient like me and realize that choosing to be a netrunner might be a mistake because you don't want to do much thinking and do a different kind of hacking, then getting mantis blades implant is for you. But wait a minute, don't these blades require 20 street cred and 16,000 euro dollars? Yes, if you buy them from Reprodux since they just rip you off your money, except for you, Victor. You can get these legendary mantis blades without any restrictions and tell Reprodux to attach them to you for free, except if you haven't paid Victor yet, so you gotta go to a different Reprodux. All you have to do as soon as Regina George inform you about this Cyber Psycho Phantom of Night City side job, which will appear at the northwest part of the city center here in the Corpo Plaza, is head over there. But before entering the building, make sure to save. The first time I recorded my gameplay, it did spawn at the chest right here on the right as soon as we entered this yellow gate, but since my capture card was acting up and giving me the worst artifacts, I record again, this time directly on the same desktop PC that I play on, but the Mantis Blades decided to whoopsie no. So in case you experienced the same thing that I did, and because most likely it's a random spawn there, just load up your save and enter the building again until the Mantis Blades finally spawn. Blades. Yes, finally. After finally getting those Mantis Blades, press save and yeet yourself out of there. You don't have to fight against this cyber psycho named Norio Akohara, or maybe you want to, that's up to you. You won't be able to use your newly acquired Mantis Blades yet though because you know you have to go to a Reaper Doctor to have them implanted on your arms for free. So head over to your favorite Reaper Doctor and do so. Hey, my man. Again, if it's Victor, you gotta pay Wait him your debt first. After that, get ready to hack and slash some Tiger Claws and Maelstrom Gangs or what have you. And this, my friends, for me is the most thrilling way to fight in the game. Do take note though that this style is for those with builds that focus on body, for the stamina and vitality perks, or probably even those who focus on cool for the evasion and blades perks. So if you have a different playstyle and want to kill off enemies safely from a distance, then get the next best weapon, the Fenrir. The Fenrir is an iconic submachine gun that deals thermal damage with a certain percent chance to roast your enemies in literal fire. Yeah, man. Its damage also scales according to your level, so it's pretty awesome. To get the Fenrir, head over to the northern dock in Watson and find a monk. I actually discovered this gun by accident while trying to get the legendary Nicometa sniper rifle in this shop and moping around because I thought I only needed 17 street cred for it and didn't know that Nicometa costs almost 100,000 eddies which I don't have yet but I had fun chatting with this kid though. Aren't you a bit young? Aren't you a little young to run a business? Someone in the family's gotta be the scoff winner. I can count and I've got good hands. All you need. That's my boy. Anyway, somewhere near the area is this monk with cybernetic implants which triggers the losing my religion. You know, be nice. Accept the monk's request to save his brother from the Maelstrom gang. Then finish off all the gang members, ignore the preachiness of his brother, and grab the Fenrir near him. Johnny the douche will also appear and commend you for taking this trouble to save the monk and sort of give you a hint that there's a nice loot nearby. After getting the Fenrir, wish the other monk a Merry Christmas while giving Johnny the finger, then blast your next enemies away with your new powerful weapon. Although it's perfect for those who want to go Rambo against enemies and with builds that focus on high reflex, even if you have a different playstyle and build, I think you will surely enjoy this OP gun. Just make sure you have some spare ordinary submachine guns in your inventory and don't disassemble them all or at least remember to craft ammo regularly especially if your build focuses on crafting which I think is the best combo for this kind of playstyle so don't be like me and run out of bullets. But in case it happens, we never know, you know. And we have three slots for different weapons anyway. Here comes the third best weapon, which is called Skippy. Or at least that's what it insists to be called. Up to this day, I don't know who originally owns this smart pistol or who the feck is the administrator because it wouldn't let me change his name. East part of Haywood. Uh, the nearest, I think, as travel here is... Uh, Mega Building H3. Anyway, this pistol is smart enough to auto aim at enemies depending on the mode you choose for it, whether lethal or epic PP destroyer. 
Sometimes it even auto fires when it gets too excited. It kind of feels like having the first prototype maybe of the Dominator because even though I chose non-lethal, so it auto aims on enemies peepees and just cripple them. If the enemy is threatening enough, I can choose to aim on the head and override its non-lethal auto aim feature. Skippy also scales according to your level and can be upgraded with mods. And since we still have one slot left in weapons, you can put in an extra gun there from bodies looted or even craft an ordinary Nicometa sniper rifle yourself, especially if you're focusing on the typical net running build and want to take down enemies from a very, very, very safe distance. Unfortunately, the damage of the guns we craft on our own don't scale as we level up, so just in case you don't like using Mantis Blades, there's also a traditional blade like the Scalpel Blade that you can get from saving a Mexican ambassador in the big in Japan side shop. Just go here at this part of the map, the second rectangle. You may also connect your Steam, Epic, or PlayStation account to GOG Galaxy to get this black unicorn sword from The Witcher. But the bonus weapon for this video is this legendary knife which in my opinion is pretty underrated but definitely worth a try especially if you have a sneaky build focusing on cool and you can buy it from this lots of gun shop but it costs around 15 grand but it has almost 600 dps and gives 5.61 attacks per second which is almost twice that of black unicorn and though it has lower physical damage if you're able to get close enough to your enemy it provides 20 percent more crit damage and 10 percent bleeding chance plus less like for you to accidentally and stupidly hit attack so yeah ha what is this hack what the frick so these are my favorite weapons so far that, except for that legendary knife, the other three don't cost money or your dollars or eddies at all. Very newbie friendly, so they are definitely worth having whether you just started playing Cyberpunk 2077 during the holidays or if you're in a rerun using a different path this time. These weapons can help you finish the quests and side jobs faster to gain access to other late game items that require a certain player level, street cred, and more eddies. Also, the damage that these weapons provide scale up as we level up, so depending on your playstyle, you may choose to continue using them and upgrade them with mods late game if you like this video smash that like button and also if you have any ideas or suggestions for the next cyberpunk 2077 tips and tricks video just let me know down in the comments below also subscribe if you haven't yet but it's up to you if you want to hit that notification bell icon because before one they also create non-cyberpunk 2077 content so don't be shocked to see you in the next video so yeah bye for now